how you're holding up, you know. This is well as can be expected, I suppose. A year is hardly enough time to forget my husband's death. And this memorial service brings it all back. I don't know how you feel. When Margaret passed away, I was inconsolable for the longest time. I remember, Crandall. I only wish that I could have been as helpful as you have been to me. Oh, but you were, Lenora. You and Byron helped me immeasurably. I'm just trying to repay the kindness. And I thank you. Your help with this memorial service has been... Well, I couldn't have done it without you. <sighs> it's the least I could do. Besides being my best friend since college, Byron stood by me as the Barrington family lawyer. He was like a brother to me. I know he felt the same way about you. Hello, Carolyn. Hi, Dagmar. How's the coffee this morning? Ah, uh, the same as usual. If you are drinking tea, you've made the right choice. Did you sort out that issue in ICU? Oh, yes, I did, thanks to Dr. Run. What a great guy. It certainly is. Oh, I just don't get it. Don't start, Dagmar. But, Caroline, you and Ron were perfect for each other. Why did you break up with him and marry Tim? Well, Ron and I were in love, but in the end, I think he left his job and his work more. When we broke up, Tim was there for me. So you stopped loving Ron? You know what? It's getting late, and, and I got files to deliver. Dr. Simonson, it's Abbott. Oh, busy? no, Abbott, come on in. I'm in you. <clears throat> Let me tell my secretary, uh, I'll be delayed. Yeah, Clyde, will you hold all my calls? I'd like to chat with you if we could. Well, Abbott, what's on your mind? Well, Ron, as the hospital administrator, I have to tell you I'm worried about you. Abbott, you don't think I'm doing my job? You're doing your job. As a matter of fact, you're doing your job and more. But I'm worried that you're just... You're taking too much on. That's nonsense. I'm fine. Ronnie, you're a brilliant doctor, and you're the best damn chief of staff this hospital has ever seen. But I'm afraid you're just pushing yourself too hard. We've been friends for a long time, Evan. I'm sorry, I'm on edge. I just, it's the pediatric wing. That's the issue. It's the pediatric wing, isn't it? I mean, Byron Dawson's will does state that we will have the right of first refusal on the property, but. Well, you know, we're going to have the deadline by Monday morning at 8 a.m. Hmm. That's right. That's right. Nobody in uh, Sweetwater is certainly going to stand in the way of the hospital procuring that land, so... What happened? You don't know that, and I don't know that. That's true. This is going to be difficult. I mean, we're, we're short $100,000 from the money we need. I would like to now... Closing oration, Crandall Barrington. Thank you, Pastor Gerald, and thank you all for attending this service. A year passed. Though some of the pain subsided, I think I can see my schedule. Dad. I'm a busy man too, Judy. You think I like hanging out with these sobbing proletariats my father picked up the street? I'm not my father, Judy. <laughs> I intend to radically change the Dawson fortune. With your help, of course. Mm -hmm. How are things going on the land deal? In my father's will, he gave the hospital the first right of refusal. But don't worry. There's no way they're going to come up with the money I'm asking for. Mm -hmm. On Monday, <laughs> it's ours. <laughs> oh, Abbott, don't worry about the money. Why wouldn't that fundraiser at Mickey's? This is exactly what I'm talking about, Ron. I mean, you're you're running the hospital, all right? You're you're uh, organizing a charity event, and you're overseeing the acquisition of the land. You're doing too much. Look, 
This pediatric link means a lot to the children of Sweetwater. The children? And that's the important thing, is the children. I understand. But couldn't you relinquish some of the responsibility? I am okay, Abby. All right, I won't fight you. I just wanted to make sure you were okay. Trust me, Albert, nothing is going to go wrong. Thanks, Turtle. It's always great to hear your feedback. Come on, John. Just a kid. Ah, uh, why don't you lay off, Turtle Lance? If you bugged me, that's why. Stop it, guys. You're acting really immature. <laughs> what about the dad? One with the uh, Mickey. Let me tell you something about the good Dr. Simonson. He may be a brilliant surgeon, but he's no event planner. Are you saying my mind should be heavy? I took precautions. McFarland is going to have the health inspector <laughs> pay Mickey's a little visit. <laughs> They'll never open their doors. You think that more on McFarland? Can get it done. Absolutely. Can you guarantee that? <laughs> no, Judy, I can't guarantee it, but Tim's Realty Company is involved in the condos. I want me to, you told me to wait a year, and Monday it will be. Exactly a year, and I wanna call. Are we clear? I understand, it, Judy, but it's not as simple as you make it out. The hospital has the first crack at the land, but they can't pay for it. So Monday, it's ours. Be patient. I'm tired of being. Patient, can you promise me that when if I don't get it, there will be hell to pay. I don't know about this, Mr. Oh, Ricardo. come on, Max. All I'm asking you to do is your job as the county health commissioner. You go to Mickey's place for an inspection, and then you shut him down. What if there are no violations? Oh, come on, Max. It's a restaurant. What's wrong with you? There's always violations. This ought to help. Uh, all right, uh, I don't know about this. Max, I want the fundraiser shut down. I could get in a lot of trouble for this. I'm not asking you to lie. All I'm asking you to do is be vigilant. Extremely vigilant. That was a beautiful service. Thank you. Your father was more than just my lawyer. He was like a brother to me. And I want you to think of me as family. And if there's anything that you need, don't hesitate to ask. You've done quite enough already, Mr. Barrington. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. Daddy, I'll see you later. I'll see you back at the house, Mother.
Your daughter has certainly grown up. So has your son. Where did the time go? It seemed like just yesterday that they were wearing knee pants and a flower dress. I sometimes wish Judy had stayed that age. Oh? She used to be such a sweet child. But as she got older, things became more difficult. I thought it was just a phase she was going through, but it's an awfully long phase. I'm sure you've noticed that Shad shares some of the same qualities. Hmm? They're like two peas in a pod. <laughs> I don't understand, Lenora. What went wrong? Maybe we gave them too much. And now they expect to always get what they desire. Was that Mr. Lewis? Yes, that was. Any problems I should know about? Well, I think I've been working too hard around here. Perhaps he has a point. Oh, not you two. Uh, uh, no, I would never lecture you. Look, I value your opinion. Really? What has gotten into you? Nothing. Here are those files that you wanted. You know, uh, I've got to go. There's people waiting for me and admitting. Mickey's place could be clean as a whistle. What then? Then here, take this one off. What is this? It's rat feces. All you do is wait for the right moment, spread some around, and bing, bang, boom, you have your violation. <laughs> Me. You guys, stop it. Your brother. What's wrong? He got hurt at the gym. He's at the hospital. Oh my god, is it serious? Okay, he hurt his leg really bad. Oh my but god. But I, I don't go. really know how. Well, let's go. Dylan, will you drive me to the hospital? Dr. Simonson. I'm operating. I gotta do it. My first concern is my patient. And this man's leg right now is my patient. And that's the only thing that matters right now. I'm Mr. Tim McFarland to see you, Miss Barrington. What are you doing? You at my father's house. I want the money I spent to bribe the health inspector. I'll be you later. I'd rather have the money now to avoid any complications. Already check. No, no checks. Strictly in cash. I don't lead a paper trail. 10,000 should cover it. Do you think I have that kind of money? Yes. Lying around my house. I know, Judy. I know you want me in the shadows to get my hands dirty so you and Chad can remain pillars in the community. I don't mind being the bad guy just as long as I get paid. No. No get out of my house. You, you don't want me to hang around for a drink? I thought we could get to know each other. Get out! Get out while you can still walk! <laughs> Doctor, a lot of blood in there. Are you sure you should do this? This procedure is unapproved. Look, 
I'm gonna do this procedure. I'm moving a monkey tendon here. I've done my homework. The damage of his knee is severe. This man's life depends on it. You're playing God with this boy's life. He could die. Don't argue with me, Caroline. There's a monkey tendon right there. Give me a retractor, will ya? Come on, move. research on this, but we don't know the long-term results, doctor. This is dangerous. Look, I'm a doctor. Please be so nice to give me a retractor. That's why we asked you here, Mr. Bird, as District Attorney of Sweetwater, with your experience dealing with Tim McFarlane and his shady real estate dealings, we were hoping you could help us ferret out his intentions in the rezoning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, thank you. I am his father and is here to see you. Are you about to look at It looks like we have a full house. The mayor thought it would be best to have Mr. Bird here to answer any legal questions. No, Robert. No problem at all. All right. It looks like you're here to make things a whole lot more beautiful. I'm here to take notes. Not just a pretty face. You know, I'm in favor of women's lib, and I find the career woman very, very attractive. I'm too Fine, let's get down to business, if that's okay with you, Mr. Bird. Yeah, you boy, yeah. Yeah, all right. I'm I have to move fast if I'm the help. The area you're planning on rezoning contains the parcel. The hospital plans on building the pediatric wing. My hair, Paula. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am here. I'll be here, Paula. I do it for the children. Good morning. Good morning. The surgery was a success. The monkey tendon should heal 10 times faster than we expected. Thanks, doctor. If you rest and don't overstrain yourself, then I think you can go out and play football. I know football is important to you. Winning a scholarship is a big thing these days. But if you don't be careful, you could be in serious trouble. Now, you don't want that to happen, do you? No. Oh, let me in. I hear you. What's going on here? I tried to stop her, but she pushed right past me. May I ask? Who are you? I'm Caitlin Clark. We will rezone the land from the hospital when the time comes. <laughs> if you actually are interested in helping the homeless. Why would you have any doubts? Hi. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am a part of my life. But, but here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to shut up. I, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm about to cut it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to cut it. I'm about to cut it. Play it, 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 play it,
I know we butted heads in the past, Mr. Bird, but this time I really am a changed man, and this time I really want to help. I told her that it's after visiting now, it's half doing. I take it you know this girl. She's her sister. Okay, Mr. Cardine Clark is now cleared for visitors. Signed officially, Dr. Simonson. I just don't get it. Well, Kain, are you all right? Yes, I'm okay. It was a very serious procedure. He's got football tryouts in two weeks. Do you think he'll be able to make it? As I explained to him, as long as he doesn't overexert himself, I think he is going to be fine. Is everything okay? Dylan? Is that Dylan Barrington? He does seem to be in a hurry to approve the rezoning. But I suppose I would be, too, if I was intent on getting homes built for the homeless. Yeah. I then it's unanimous, and despite his track record as a scoundrel, there seems to be more good in his plan than bad that we can see at this point. Shall we have the rezoning place before the committee this afternoon? I hope you're right, Mr. Bird. I hope you're right. Caitlin, Dr. Simonson is in here with us. We're in good hands. I'm glad somebody believes in me. I bet Lewis and the hospital administrator thinks I'm burning the candles at both ends. Well, you know, it's been true. I've been busy with this hospital fundraiser. I mean, somebody's got to do the job around here. Fundraiser? Yeah, fundraiser. It's for the new pediatrics wing. The so fundraiser is this Saturday at Mickey's. Didn't your mother tell you about it? No, she didn't even mention it. You should come. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be, it's going to be magicians and clowns and, you know, the works. Oh, that doesn't sound very entertaining. Well, it sounds entertaining to us. What do you suggest? A band. A rock and roll band. Ah, I don't know, Dylan, you know. <laughs> We're good. We have our own equipment and it wouldn't cost you a thing. <laughs> well, I don't know. Um... Come on, Dr. Simonson. Please. Please. <laughs> Please. Let them play, Doc. Okay. Yes. I'm so yes. Yeah. 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 One thing you should do is check with your mother first. Another glass of wine, Caroline? Huh? I said, would you like another glass of wine? Why not, Mickey? It's been a long day. It appears that you got something in your mind. Do you want to share that with me? Is it that apparent? Of course. I'm a bartender. I'm supposed to know these things. Do you ever think about life? Every day, really. Do you have any regrets? Uh, I always dream of having my bar, my establishment, no matter what mistakes I make. I have my bar, I can't regret that. Do you have any regrets? I don't know. Maybe. Caroline, you gotta be kidding me, because you got a good job at the hospital. You're gorgeous, you have a supportive husband. I do. They don't have any trouble. What do you think about Tish? Tim? 
this little guy. Honestly, Nikki, what do you think about Tim? Now, Cash, I don't want to get involved with that. That's too private. Well, Mickey, I'm just asking for your opinion, good or bad. I won't hold it against you, I promise. <sighs> you know what? He's a creep there, I say that, but I don't think you have a divorce guy. The guy could change, I've seen it happen. How do you know that? Caroline, I used to get creep myself. Oh my god, I've got wonderful news. What's that, darling? My band got a gig this weekend. When and where? Saturday at Mickey's. Dr. Simons has said we could play, but we need your permission. Mickey, I don't believe you were a creep. Caroline, many people don't know about me, but I waved up, as you can see. Dr. Simonson! Yeah! My friend Dr. Simonson's here! Hello, doctor! Hello! How you doing? I'm fine, Nikki. Did I have someone out of rough and twisted line? I hope the hospital fundraiser are coming. The banquet hall is decorated and ready to go. I see. Enjoy yourself at Mickey's. Mm-hmm. Hello, Caroline. Caroline. You know about this afternoon? I'm sorry, it, re it really was nothing. Look, if there's anything you need, I'm always here for you, you know? Thank you. Just I'm under a lot of stress, you know? But I am fine now. I appreciate what you do for the hospital and all that. But your friendship is more important to me than anything in the world, you know? That. It's getting really late and I better be going home. Look. Look, I don't think you should drive in this condition. I, I'm fine. I promise you. I want to take you home. Okay. I accept your diagnosis, Doctor. Okay, let's go. Ron? Thanks for the talk. I wonder if you'll be glad to have a talk with me, Dr. Simonson. your help. You don't need my help, but you need my permission. Oh, man, the answer is no. Oh, if Dad was here, he'd let me play. Your father's not here. He's in Brazil. So the answer is no. Please, please. The answer is no. Ah. The event won't happen. The guy is going to do it. He took the money, so it better get done. The pediatric wing is as good as finished. Yeah, well, you better be right, because if it doesn't work, it puts the whole plan in jeopardy. And that means Judy Barrington will be angry. And trust me, you don't want to make Judy Barrington angry. Oh, don't worry about Judy Barrington. I guess... Handle her and show up every turn of the tune. <laughs> so who was that, Tim? Why the sour puss? Oh, the chance of a lifetime just went up in smoke. Really? Yeah. We're going to play at a fundraiser for the hospital, but my mom doesn't think it's good enough yet. Well, I'm sure she has a good reason. She doesn't, because we were going to play at Mickey's, but she doesn't think it's good enough. Is that so? Yes. I wish my dad was here. 
You know, your father's in the rainforest. He can't be reached right now. I know. Why is this band so important to you? Because no one did it for me. I did it on my own. Like your dad? Like my dad. I see. And you really want to play at Mickey's? It'll mean everything to me. Well, I suggest you call your bandmates and tell them they're going to be busy on Saturday. Well, you giving me permission? That's what I'm doing. What about my mom? Don't worry. I can handle your mother. So who was that, Tim? Oh, Caroline. I didn't even hear you come in. I didn't even see your car. Well, I had a few too many glasses of wine with Ronnie, so he dropped me home. Oh, I see. So who was that? Oh, that was just a bad Caroline. You know, political stuff, no big deal. You know, it would be nice if someone could give me some dinner around here. I'm really hungry, and I did work my butt off all day. What am I supposed to do now? Starve to death? Yeah, we could order some Chinese food. Hmm. Chad Dawson. The uh, stove seems to be okay. As you see, uh, ever since you gave me that clean bill two months ago, nothing has changed. Yeah, well, it's just, you know, this is random new spot check. I guess it's just the luck of the draw. When you play the lottery, this is the one that got a hit, well. Hello, anybody here? Yeah. Hold on, just one moment. Someone's in the front door. Here's my camera. We're doing an inspection in my kitchen, as you can see. Is everything okay? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, you're almost through because me and Alfred and Duncan got things to you, as you can see. Give you an A+. Plus. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Here, light up the chimney. I don't want to hold you up any longer. I'll let myself out. All right, up there. This way, please, buddy. Got things to do. Hello, somebody there? Hello, brother. Well, well, well. What are you doing here in Sweetwater? I got a brother who lives here. Oh, have you forgotten? No, I didn't forget. Brother, Don. Been a good little while, huh? I guess it has been. What do you want now? I want to get to know the brother I haven't seen in seven years, five months, and 28 days. You know, Don, you, you just amaze me sometimes, you know? How's that? You just show up out of the blue up here in Sweetwater Tides. You could have come to see me. I've been busy, brother. Yeah, I've been busy too. What are you talking about? You went to medical school and I went to prison. Right, whose fault was that, Don, hmm? You never came to see your twin brother. Oh, come on, Don, get up, your sidekick, will ya? Anyway. Fine piece of tail I saw you with over there at the smokehouse the other day. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right, let me tell you something. You know, I'm all ears, Dr. Simonson. What I do with my personal life is my own business. It is no business of yours. I'm seeing you scorn for the first time in your life. For what reason? What reason do you want me to squirm? Because hmm? you're the smart one. Oh, don't give me that song and dance. Because hell, that's sure not going to work with me, and you knew it. Not a song and dance, baby. It's reality. Get out of my office. You're going to pay, Dr. Simonson. Get out. And when I figure out how, you'll be the first to know. I never want to see you here.
But I thought you said that Max took the money. He did! For what it came down to doing the damn deed, he lost his damn! This is not good, Tim. Hey, don't try to pin this on me! I only did what you told me! Yeah, we'll try explaining that to Judy Barrington. Oh, that's right, I forgot. You can handle Judy Barrington. Well, gentlemen, it looks like you little boy well. It's not my fault. You can't blame me. Well, yeah. Hey, I did my part. Judy, I can fix this. Shut up, Bubba. I don't need your help. I'll deal with this myself. Mom, the Lord. Ron? Carolyn, what can I do for you? And, uh, well, I feel uncomfortable because I feel like I might be betraying my husband, but I think it has to do with the hospital. What do you mean it falls to the hospital? I overheard Tim talking on the phone, and I'm not sure if I made it out totally right, but I think it has to do with the pediatric wing. What do you mean it has something to do with the pediatric wing? He said that he was talking to the mayor, but when I tried that caller ID on his telephone, he wasn't talking to him. Who was he talking to? To Chad Dawson. What? Chad Dawson? Why would he talk to him? Well, that's the $64,000 question, Ron. And if I were you, I would keep my antennas open because he could be up to something. Yeah, I'm glad you came to me with this information. You're welcome. I love you. I always loved you. I never stopped loving you. Um, I should get going, Ron. Okay. I have work. Stay alive. And both written the most desirable blade. It sucks. What are you doing, Bukas? Yamba, you know? I hadn't thought about it. How would you like to make the point cash? Depends how much and what for. There's a monkey that I like to see him so, but I can't be involved. How much? Ten thousand. I'll do it. What's the function? The at the smokehouse. That's the party my brother's throwing. <laughs> you got a deal. And you know what? what? I would have done it for free. <laughs> Dylan. This guy. Dylan, I want you to have this. What is it? Your father gave it to me many years ago. He wanted to give it to you. But I should have given it to you a long time ago. Why didn't you give it to me? Dylan, I realize there's a lot more of your father in you than I care to admit. You've grown up quite a bit now, and I guess I have too. 
Thanks, Colonel.
What's going on? Get out! Get the fire! Come on, get out of here! Get out the door! Get out! Get out of the exit now! Payback time. Look at the signs in. Watch out! Oh my god. <laughs>